We'll go over production plans in this video, and production plans are really useful when you know based on your forecast how much of each product you want to produce over the next, say, week, month, quarter, or even year. Um, this will help you with making sure you have enough ingredients and purchasing for to hit that production plan. So the first thing we'll do is add whichever recipes we want to be making for this plan. So we'll add both of our cookie recipes. You can enter the dates just for reference, but they don't actually affect the plan. They're just for reference. And then down here, we'll say how much we're going to produce of each recipe. So um, you define in the recipe itself, which you can click through with this link, um, what a batch size is, what a package is, what a case is, what a pallet is. Um, and you can use each any of those metrics uh, for your production plan. So say we're making 100 packages of our chocolate chip cookies over the next week and 150 of our peanut butter. So down below, it'll tell us our ingredient requirements. So for each ingredient in those recipes, it'll tell us our inventory on hand, uh, so how much we have of that ingredient, um, how much is required to hit the production plan in total, and then the difference, so how much we'd need to purchase. So looks like we're a little short on xanthan gum, granulated sugar, and a couple of our flours. And so if you're using sub recipes in any of these products, then it'll actually include the ingredients in those sub recipes in your production plan as well. So it's a, basically a production plan from scratch. And that's why we have this already in works in progress. Works in progress are your sub recipes. And that's how much inventory you have already in those. So if we have works in progress, it'll basically pull the ingredients from those works in progress out so you don't um, double count those. And in the production plan, those works in progress won't show up in the plan, but they're actually automatically added if you're using them in your, your product. So um, it tells us how much we need to purchase in the plan and then the cost if we've set up um, the cost for each of the ingredients. So if we make this 1,000 packages of chocolate chip cookies instead, we need to purchase a lot more, have a little bit more um, cost requirements. And if we view the report, It'll break it down a little bit um, more cleanly. You can print this out. You can download it to a spreadsheet. And also list our suppliers out to make um, purchasing a little bit easier. Um, so if when you're receiving inventory, you included the suppliers, those will automatically get added here um, just so it's a little bit easier to um, make a purchase order. And you can control those suppliers on the inventory history page. You can remove them or, or add another supplier. We just have the one for our demo account um, to keep things simple, but that, that's a production planning. Um, hope that was a useful video and reach out if you have any questions, give us a call, email us, chat us, and hope you have a great day.